a game now entitled Sound Effects. This oh, game is for Ryan and Collins to come on down. We're also going to need help with two volunteers for our studio audience. So who wants to be a part of this game? Hi, what's your name? Regina. Regina, head on down the stage. Yes, Regina. Who else? Who else? Hi, what's your name? Yeah, come on, it's going to be great. Super safe. Come with me. Kelly? Kelly, follow me. Give Kelly a massive round of applause. Make her feel super supported. OK, here we go. The way that this game works is that Ryan and Colin are going to perform a scene, and Regina and Kelly are going to provide the sound effects, but only when prompted. So Regina will do the sound effects for Colin, the little one. And <laughs> Kelly, you'll do the sound effects for Ryan, the giant. Here's how the scene is going to go. Uh, the scene is that in the Wild West, Sheriff Ryan and Deputy Colin hear that a gang of vicious outlaws are attacking a tree. Oh, hello. Oh, what did you do? <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh, nice. One more time. The scene is that in the Wild West, Sheriff Ryan and Deputy Colin hear that a gang of vicious outlaws are attacking a train. Whenever you're ready, take it away. I hear the Dalton gang is in town. They're going to take the train. Are you all right, Reggie? Yeah. <laughs> I'm nervous because I've been trying to fire my rifle all day. I can't hit the side of a barn. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not feeling too good either. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> You can't use a rifle from close range. You've got to get yourself a couple of six shooters like oh, this. Sure are I'll show you a fancy trick. <laughs> wow, they're not loaded yet. No. You're going to load them up. I like the way you put talcum powder in your holster. Yeah, oh, yeah. Did you see the buff come out? Hey, sure. Huh. You know, the 815 is going to go past the uh, Rock Gut Canyon. Oh, we should be able to hear its horn pretty soon, I would think. No. Nope. Oh, yeah. There it is. Should we get the horses? It usually honks twice. Choo. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Why don't you saddle up the horses? I'll ring the bell for the rest of the, All right. the town so they know. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> All right, we're good. Easy boy. Woo. Oh. <laughs> I got the flamboyant yes. horse. <laughs> Let's head outside of town and meet him out there, huh? I'm writing my memoirs. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Set up just one one stick. <laughs> this stick of dynamite is the most dangerous piece of equipment a man ever. Shut up! Go oh. put it under the bridge. <laughs> All right. Let me just attach it to the plunger. I'll keep you uh, entertained with a little fiddle music while you do that. I'm okay. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, it sounded like your gun. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you do that? You told me to! Oh, I said when they come blow up the bridge. And you well, you were them. not clear with your instructions. Well, you weren't paying attention. Maybe you shouldn't have brought a pig with you. Don't you say nothing about Tommy. <laughs> Tommy's my lucky pig. Never had a lick of trouble when I got Tommy by my side. He's dead. He died about five minutes ago. That's why you haven't heard a word from him since. <laughs> to Regina and Kelly for doing such a great job. Especially because I think neither of them wanted to do it. <laughs> and they really gave it their all. So thank you, you guys were amazing. Regina and Kelly, everybody. We're gonna keep things moving now with a game entitled Who's Line? This game is for Ryan and Colin, so come on down. For the show, we have... Write down random lines and judgments. We 
chosen some of those line suggestions. So, uh, and, and ooh, well, hello. Let's see. Let's see. I might have gotten them mixed up. Let's see what happens. Who cares? Uh, Ryan, who, really, who, who does care? <laughs> Ryan, those are for you. Thank you. And Colin, these are for you. Now, the scene you guys are going to be acting out as you use these lines in the scene is that, uh, Ryan, you are Romeo. And I'm Colin, sorry? you are Juliet. Okay. That's the scene. Right. Yeah. So, whenever you're ready, take okay. it away. Care for a drink? Hey, sure. Thanks, Romeo. Mm-hmm. Listen, I think my... Cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> I think my parents suspect that we're seeing each other. I know they do. What? They've asked me to take you out. <laughs> I thought they were against our families, um, commingling. That's what they wanted you to think. They felt bad for you because you can't get a date. <laughs> my God, you're charming. <laughs> I could get a date with anyone. Really? Yes, Paris Ew. the Prince. Paris the Prince. Paris the Prince. Has actually been looking... Oh, he, um... <laughs> climbed up into my window the other night. He did not. Yes, and he whispered through the window while I was sleeping, do you want to see my rash? <laughs> and you found that attractive, did you? It's in the shape of an apple. I love apples. Look, I didn't want to date you at first, but now I have to say I'm fallen madly in love with you. Really, Romeo? I can't go to sleep at night, not think of your face, and think to myself, if only I had a penis. <laughs> You were doing so well in that sword fight. Yes. And then you got distracted. I know. I know what happened. Thank you. I still have a penis. I know. I, I just I, don't wear it. No. It's all right. I don't care. Uh, I care. No. It's important to me. I didn't miss it till it was gone. Isn't that true of most things? I guess it is. You have a way of putting things. I do, because I'm a frisky 14-year-old. <laughs> Well, you've just made this incredibly creepy. <laughs> oh, oh, really, Mr. Old Man Romeo? You think you're so smart just because you're two years older. Well, let me tell you something, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Just shut your big fat mouth. <laughs> yeah. Now, you've, the last minute you've told me to shut my mouth, and you've told me I'm too old. Oh, uh, I can still keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you keeping it at my house? Where else am I going to put it? Well, I don't need it in my drawers. Oh, don't you? I don't want your penis in my drawers. No. That's funny. You have a lot to talk during your sleep. What? Perhaps you do need it in the middle of the night because all you muddy to yourself while you're sleeping is get down and bark like a dog. <laughs> True story. <laughs> it's not, it's Seven and five points to each of you, an extra five points <laughs> to Colin for actually knowing that <laughs> Romeo and Juliet were 14 and 16, and not 14 and 57, <laughs> as Ryan <laughs> assumed. This is Romero. It's another guy who lives down the street. <laughs> 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 they got a pizza place down there. Exactly. <laughs> Entitled Secret. This game is for Ryan and Colin, so come towards oh. me. You got it? Yeah. The way this game works is that Ryan and Colin are going to improvise a scene in which one of them has a secret in the form of a prop, which they'll discover as they go along at their leisure. In this scene, Colin is Pinocchio, Ryan is Geppetto. The rest is up to you, gentlemen. Hey, Dad. Ah, I... hey, Cricket! <laughs> Pinocchio, I'm working on a little girl for you. Oh! I'm gonna carve up a little girl for you. Oh! That is so nice. I would like to have it. Yes, because you're going to stay with me forever. We're going to live together forever, Pinocchio. <laughs> Geppetto, I don't want to live with you forever. I want to be like a real little boy and grow up and have adventures on my own. Oh, you're never going to be a real boy. You're made of wood. No. Yes. Can I borrow your trunk here? I oh, just want to no, pack no. some stuff. Oh, no, no, no. The trunk is, the, the, the trunk no, is I, mine. I, I, I just want... Pinocchio, no. So what's this girl you're making like? <laughs> well, no, girl, it's, a, it's no. not for the girl, it's for me. It's sad to say, I get lonely too sometimes. Well, you'll have to explain how this gets rid of the loneliness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes I, I put on the, you know, the skimpy wimpies and I go in front of the... Uh, front Wait, of I the want to write this down. Skimpy wimpies? Yes, yes. <laughs> I have so much to learn. You don't need a pencil, just use your finger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I put on the fancy things and I look in front of the mirror and say, Geppetto, 
But I say it in a high voice, I say, Petu. <laughs> and things grow. It's like, you lie and your nose grow. It's the I same know, thing yeah, for Japan. <laughs> I want you to see what you're going to face if you leave a home. It's not nice out there. There's a lot of things you're not going to like out there, Pinocchio. And these are just some of them. Wow. Matt. As, as far as she goes, right there. It's like a sausage gone wrong. <laughs> Points all around. Um, additional points to Ryan for giving the world the phrase skimpy wimpies. This is skimpy wimpies. <laughs> I was trying to say skimpy one piece. <laughs> We're trying to skimpy wimpies. And I'm taking three points back for ruining lingerie for everyone, everywhere, <laughs> forever. I used to be able to get stuff like that on. I don't know what has happened. I just I put on weight, I guess. So let's get started right now with a game entitled Let's Make a Date. Oh. This is for all of our performers. So come on down. Jonathan is appearing on a dating show. Ryan, Colin, and Wayne are the contestants who are praying he will pick them and end their lives of lonely misery. Uh, each has been given a strange characteristic or identity. Jonathan's going to question them about their suitability for a date and in the process try to establish who they are. So whenever you're ready, gentlemen. <laughs> Ryan's heartbroken. Go make yourself a date. So, a uh, bachelor number one. There's nothing I like more than a hard whip and a gentle nay nay. What kind of dance moves would you teach me to win my heart? Hey, hey, hi. <laughs> you very, very pretty girl, sexy. All right, this is how we do it. Okay, American number one. All right, okie dokie, Yankees Dodgers. <laughs> Bachelor number two, what are some words you would put together to win my heart? Oh, well, um... <laughs> Sometimes I feel like we're just in a big wave that... Whoop! <laughs> slip, 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 slip! <laughs> There's something big to hold on to! Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Bachelor number two. <laughs> bachelor number three, the sexiest thing my ex ever said to me was, clear off the couch, you're getting pregnant tonight. What would be the sexiest thing you could say to a girl like me? Oh, that's well, just so hard to concentrate. <laughs> I can't believe I touched his nose. <laughs> if his nose is that big, I wonder what the rest of him's like. <laughs> I'd like to do him till he can't walk anymore. <laughs> Bachelor number one, I have three college majors, math and numbers. What did you major in in college, and how will that make our relationship spicy? <laughs> yes, yes. Bachelor number two, if you had a favorite superpower, what would it be? Oh, 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 maybe I can make it to those two little islands. <laughs> no, they're too small! Okay. As the host of the show, I'm just gonna end that there. Jonathan, would you like to hazard a guess at who yes, these people I think, are? I think Wayne is a uh, dancer, entertainer, a Japanese entertainer from Japan. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank, thank you. That is right, as the host of the show. How about Colin? Uh, Colin is obviously a man who was on the Titanic and is now drowning, looking for uh, 
something that will float him away. Yes, like absolutely. Ryan. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. How about this person right here? Ryan is like Colin's inner thoughts, everyone's inner thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing I like to say is that, Ryan, you're never allowed to come to my desk ever again. <laughs> My cards are all mixed up. <laughs> You're like a terrible magician who should go to jail. Thank you so much. Yes. Award show. This is for all of our performers. So, gentlemen, come on down. Colin and Ryan, you are the award nominees. Please go sit in the audience if you would be so kind. Brad and Wayne are going to be the two presenters at our ceremony. But this isn't an entertainment award show. This is an award show, gentlemen, for tough cops. An award show for tough cops. When you're ready, take it away. You know, law enforcement wouldn't be law enforcement if there weren't some door-kicking, head-pounding badasses. <laughs> that is true. And as an advocate of law enforcement everywhere, I say thumbs up to our men and women in blue. <laughs> That's right. My dad always used to say, if you don't get bruised during the frisking, they're not doing it right. <laughs> that is what my daddy would always say at home, and he was not a cop. <laughs> Our first nominees are Eliza and Rory Sheckhart for Move, Move, Ah! Oh, it's an accident. Our second nominees are Sergeant Desmond Mudflaps and Detective <laughs> Spankwell True Hammer <laughs> for their special undercover work at a Kings of Leon concert. And our last nominees are Officer Jenkins and Officer Jenkins, no relation, for yeah, you're kind of cute. Oh, all winners on my book. <laughs> oh, well, you look at this. It's Officer Jenkins and Officer, Officer Jenkins! This is Officer Jenkins and Officer Jenkins' first nomination, first honor. You don't get up till I say you get up! You stay down there! But I was just up, but I'm on the show! You're good. All right. Let's... How does it feel, bitch? <laughs> a lot of people don't appreciate what we do on a daily basis. Traveling together in a car all day long. Just the two of us. Hot, sweaty. <laughs> now we are here to make sure you can walk the streets. <laughs> you just tased me. Yeah, well, if you can still talk, it didn't work right. <laughs> Play a game called Secret. This game is for Ryan and Colin, so come on down. The way this game works is that Ryan and Colin are going to improvise a scene in which one of them has a secret in the form of a prop, which they'll discover as they go along in the scene at their leisure. The scene is this. Ryan, you are Adam. Colin, you are Eve. That's oh, all I got for you. Really? Enjoy. Hey, Adam, I'm bored. I was just trying on a new leaf. Yeah. That's why I'm bored. I just can't seem to find the leaf big enough. Yeah. You know what? There must be more to life than just the garden. I'm happy here. Are you? Yes. I think I'm going to go out and see what's happening. No, I'm, come on, I'm cooking dinner. I got an apple, I got some ribs on the barbecue. What did I tell you about the ribs? What? You can't keep pulling out your ribs and cooking them. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's good advice. Thanks. You say you're leaving? Yeah. I'm well, then go out, Venture. I'll be here. All right. Is there some stuff in here I can no, just No, that's, that's my suitcase. That's oh, yeah. your... <laughs> Maybe you want to explain this. <laughs> say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Another one? It's just that... You're not enough. I can't believe that I am not enough for you. 
that you had to make your own little companion, just so you can go out with the guys. Ridiculous. Nothing to do with it. He made himself up. <laughs> that is creepy. I don't, I, I want you to get rid of him. I just want it to be the two of us. Two of us? Yeah. Well, he lets me do things you've never let me do. Oh, here we go. <laughs> go on, you have to explain it now. <laughs> no. <laughs> You'll have to explain a little more than that. No, I don't think I need to. You know what, I'll explain it to him. Wow, can you even look at me, he's like straight on? No, I'm over here. I'm not very good at this. No kidding. He's made up of a tree. I think we have serious problems. You're not helping out at all. <laughs> He's Don't dead. Don't him like that. I've killed him. No. Oh. See what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you, you can put him back in the box now. Put him back in the box now, Ian. Ian, no. No, no. Lick, 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 lick. I'm surprised that uh, the both of you, especially Colin being Canadian, aren't more versed with ventriloquist dummies. It's big up there, isn't it? Oh, the fun we have with our dummies in Canada. <laughs> of course, we don't always elect them like you do. <laughs> you know, my uncle was a ventriloquist dummy. He uh, died drinking furniture polish. <laughs> it was a slow death, but a beautiful finish. <laughs> wow. Oh, we're gonna play a game called If You Know What I Mean. This is for Brad, Colin, and Ryan. Gentlemen, come on down. <laughs> the way this works is that Brad and Colin are gonna act out a scene joined later by Ryan, but they have to use as many obscure euphemisms as they possibly can if you know what I mean. <laughs> and your scene is that Brad and Colin, you are two construction workers on site. Ryan enters as your coworker who is late for work. Take it away. I'm gonna have to inspect your wood, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Go ahead, my rivets are overheating. Oh. You know what I mean. <laughs> well, we don't want hot nuts close to your wood, if you know what <laughs> I mean. I'll just pull your wood over here. Well, I'm just gonna get my jackhammer and vibrate like a kangaroo, if you know what I mean. All right. <laughs> You do what you need to do. I'm gonna do some screwing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I was driving some piles, if you know what I mean. It's nice to see someone new in my erection, if you know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't get my nail gun working, if you know what I mean. I see your tool is hanging down to the floor, if you know what I mean. Oh. Well, I'm out of caulking, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's hard to find a good caulk nowadays. The grouting. Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> I'm as happy as a lactating platypus, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna start by laying some linoleum, if you know what I mean. Lay away, if you get what I'm saying. I can't seem to find a stud, if you know what I mean. I'll get my stud finder. <laughs> if you know I what think I, mean. I do know what you yeah, mean. So, yeah. When you find the stud, make sure you line it up with the hole as quickly as possible, if you know what I mean. I'm, uh... I'm in the duplexes, if you know what I mean. My bungalow's on fire, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> My bungalow's on fire. My bungalow's on fire. One extra very large point to Colin for using the phrase lactating platypus. <laughs> because nobody knew what you meant. Nobody no. knew what that meant. <laughs> it's very popular in Australia. <laughs> The way this game works is that Ryan and Colin are two television voiceover artists uh, talking about the latest compilation album, and Wayne and Jeff are gonna sing snippets of the songs on that album. So what I need is a suggestion from the audience. Can you give me a job that you might have had in college? What's a job you might have had when you were in college? Okay. Lots of good stuff, lots of good stuff. You know, uh, I kind of like this one, barista, someone who works in a coffee shop. Well, then Thank why you for don't explaining. you do it? <laughs> <laughs> the name of your album is Songs of the Barista. Hi, we'll be right back to our documentary about a Rastafarian proctologist. 
Pokemon. <laughs> But first, have we got something for you. Boy, have we ever, Colin. We've assembled 900 songs and 900 CDs all about the uh, barista. That's one song a CD. <laughs> you know, throughout the many years we've been selling CDs. 86 years now. Yep, and going strong. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've showcased a lot of great singing I think duos. showcase is a strong word. Well, we've, we've played them. Yes. And all of them had a special something, but no more special than this next duo. I think you're gonna be excited. I'm talking about, of course, Johnny Cash and Kanye West. Oh. <laughs> well, sit back and listen to this great Johnny Cash, Kanye West collaboration, Grounds for Divorce. <laughs> Didn't know what to do You got me so jacked up on caffeine I had to divorce you <laughs> Hey, y'all want all my grounds, huh? You never put it in, you put it in your mouth, huh? You never put your coffee back in the cup, huh? You don't understand cause I'm a genius But now I put it in down I put the thing down I put it in, I make it in Now that's the ground Black as can be, black is just me You never see the genius that lives inside me Coffee That's grounds for divorce that's grounds for divorce. Huh? I said it's grounds for divorce. Said you want my coffee, give a little grounds coffee again. Divorce. I give coffee to all the That's Kardashians. I give coffee and take a selfie. All while I'm in the Bentley, you see? I make my own coffee, pooped out of the butts of cats. Imagine that. I'm a genius. I fly, butterfly, rocket ship, boom, teleportation. <laughs> My roof. I got a goat in my roof and I got a stone. How am I gonna get that goat off my roof? I'm gonna rock a Billy. <laughs> you know, when I think of rock a Billy hits and I think of coffee, I think of that rocky Billy hit that was on the top of the rocky Billy hits chart for two weeks straight. That rock a Billy hit. Stop saying rock a Billy. Rock a Billy hit. <laughs> Macchiato, do, 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 do. My name right. Oh, 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 That was a win for everybody. <laughs> Five fewer points for Jeff for cracking himself up <laughs> about kicking somebody else in their testicular area. I couldn't area. decide between kick you in the crack or the sack. <laughs> and these are these game time decisions that are hard to make. They, they are. Crack or sack, taint that the truth. <laughs>